this season has ignited Texas on the recruiting trail. That win over Alabama still ringing loudly. And last night, Steve Sarkeesian cashed in on some of that recruiting momentum and landed the number one offensive tackle in the country, five-star Brandon Baker. Let's bring on Jerry Hamilton from inside Texas to talk more about the big news, Jerry. Brandon Baker commits to Texas, but it wasn't always the Longhorns. Oregon was the favorite for much of the offseason. How did Texas turn the tide and land Brandon Baker? Yeah, I think it was a long process, Josh. Uh, started with Adrian Clem, obviously left Oregon, went to the NFL. Um, uh, Brandon's brother played at Oregon. There's just been a lot of coaching turnover there, right? And I think that opened the door. Um, Steve Sarkeesian obviously has a couple of decades of ties at Modern Day High. Getting uh, Brandon and his family on campus for the uh, spring game, I think, really started this recruitment. At that point, once Brandon sat down with Kyle Flood, the Texas offensive line coach, him and his family, and really had it illustrated his development, his his resume for player development, I think that really helped Texas in this recruitment. Mm -hmm. uh, Brandon Baker came back for a June official visit. But, Josh, I really think at the end of the day, player development, Kyle Flood's resume of that, the move to the SEC – um, and Christian Jones, a starting right tackle, graduating after this year. I think those three things all led to a Texas victory, actually over Ohio State, who finished second, Oregon third, Nebraska fourth. Mm. Brandon Baker, six foot five, 300 pounds, has a chance to come in and play immediately. Now, Texas is doing a great job in the trenches. They land five star Colin Simmons on the defensive side of the ball. Now they land five star offensive tackle Brandon Baker on the offensive side of the ball. Let's stay in the trenches on offense. What is next for Texas O line recruiting? You know what's interesting, Josh? Modern day high. DeAndre Carter, the Auburn commitment, four star guard, scheduled to be in Austin this weekend for an official visit. See if he follows through on that. But as of this morning, still scheduled to be in on an official visit to Texas this weekend. He committed to Auburn over Michigan State and Texas September 3rd. Texas has never given up on DeAndre Carter. That's the one thing Texas fans have grown accustomed to with Steve Sarkeesian is they don't back off their top targets. I mean, yeah. they continue on these guys. They recruit. I call it recruiting through the whistle. They recruit through the whistle, and that's December, that early signing period. And this weekend, DeAndre Carter is scheduled to be on campus. Uh, if Texas could flip Carter from Auburn, I think they could possibly close up shop on the offensive line. Whew. All right. Well, Texas could flip DeAndre Carter from Auburn. And at the same time, teams are coming after Texas commitments. Oh, yeah. This weekend, Jerry showed up in the swamp. Defensive line commitment, DeAndre Robinson. And Texas running back commitment, Jared Gibson. Any concern over these potential flips? I think they're two different, a little bit different categories for me, Josh. Uh, Jarrett Gibson, um, you know, Texas not surprised that he was at Florida. Cedric Baxter was on campus at FSU a couple of times after he committed to Texas in the last cycle. I, I think Tashard Choice tells those kids, take your visits, go through the process, continue on with this process, then you'll end up coming home where you're committed to. I think Jarrett Gibson, obviously a one-time Florida commitment. Look, I always jokingly say, if Florida gave up on any of these kids, it's a fireball offense. You don't let top mm -hmm. prospect from your state go out of state to college without fighting all the way through the whistle in December. I think Jarrett Gibson remains a solid commitment that uh, Texas, obviously his family lives in Gainesville. Um, he's possible to be in Austin this weekend, but IMG looks like they may play Bishop Gorman in Vegas Friday night. So that could keep uh, Jordan Johnson rebel and Jarrett Gibson from coming to Texas Saturday as they originally planned. So we'll have to follow that one. If IMG does in fact add that game against Bishop Gorman today. Uh, but DeAndre Robinson's different because Texas didn't know he was going to show up in Gainesville. So that's a little bit of a different category for me. I think Robinson remains a solid commitment to Texas, but anytime you go visit somewhere and the staff that doesn't know and you're not up front <laughs> with the staff you're committed to, that's a little bit of a different conversation, a, a little bit of a different reaction. Yeah, and I also think with DeAndre Robinson, I mean, when he chose Texas, it was really down to Texas and UF, whereas Jared Gibson, yes, he was a one-time Florida commitment as a sophomore, but he also committed to Dan Mullen. Yeah. New staff, completely different recruitment. So I do think DeAndre Robinson, if we're going to keep an eye on one of these two for Texas fans, it's probably that Robinson recruitment right now. All right. Thoughts on Colorado getting involved with Ryan Wingo? Because the last time you and I talked about the five-star wide receiver out of St. Louis, we thought it was primarily a Mizzou Longhorn battle. 
Where do you put Colorado in this now that he's headed there this weekend for a visit? You look, I, I don't want to dismiss Deion Sanders in Colorado. That's not what I'm doing here. Um, I'll be surprised if Wingo doesn't play the jersey that has an SEC logo on it at the end of the day. And I still think that takes you to Missouri and Texas. I think Texas is in a good spot entering uh, last weekend's unofficial visit to Missouri for Wingo and this weekend's official visit to Colorado. Um, I, I Look, and, and if something changes, we can come on here and talk about it. But right <laughs> now, I feel like Texas feels pretty good about this recruitment with the understanding that Missouri's legitimate competition close to home. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with Colorado. But I'll be surprised if Wingo doesn't play in the SEC. All right. Now, Colorado fans, I know you're tuned in. We will have some more short form Colorado content later today. Moments ago, five star wide receiver Cam Coleman, who is committed to Texas A&M, scheduled a visit to Colorado this weekend. So they'll have two five star wide receivers out in Boulder to watch the Buffaloes take on USC. All right, Jerry. When will Texas host their next big visit weekend? Uh, that's this weekend. Uh, DeAndre Carter coming in for an official visit. Solomon Williams, the four-star edge out of Carrollwood Day in Tampa. He's a possibility to visit. I think you're going to see a number of 2025s on campus this weekend. You can see a couple of unofficial visits from guys that are uncommitted in the 24 class. Uh, like It's kind of like the Florida weekend. The more you win – Right, the Florida beat Tennessee, <laughs> and they had some guys show up on campus they didn't expect. Right, so Texas now number three in the polls. They just blew out Baylor the week before OU in Dallas. I think you're going to see that 2025 visitor list build throughout the week for Texas, but it's this weekend. <laughs> this is one that that Texas staff has had circled since before the season for official visits with 24s and getting some committed guys there. But I think you'll see that 2025 visitor list build out this week as well. All right, the hits just keep coming for Texas fans. Jerry Hamilton, Hamilton, we'll have you on the show later this week to preview the big visit weekend, but thank you for coming on to talk about five-star offensive tackle Brandon Baker committing to Texas on Sunday evening. Jerry, thanks a lot. You got it, Josh. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.